Hey guys, VBad here with another V Plays, and we're taking the 265 out again because this time I want to showcase the tag and drag. Yesterday's video wasn't the best for that, and I just didn't have a lot of time to get a recording in. So we went with the best of the battles I had for that night. Uh, it does beg the question though, guys, what are you looking for when it comes to gameplay? Like, are you okay with getting the best of that night, or would you prefer to hold off on the video until I get some better content? That means there might be some days that I just don't post something. Or is the regularity of content more important to you? So I'd be interested to hear what you guys say down below. Uh, and as always, uh, I'm willing to take as much feedback as you guys are willing to give me. Uh, just bear in mind, uh, the only thing I really get from doing these videos is the enjoyment of the interaction with you guys. So it's not like um, this is a job for me. This is just an enjoyable hobby on the side. So... Uh, Oh, come on. Guns, guns, guns. Hoping that helps a little bit. Getting nice and slow here. Almost. Almost. I could have planned that run in on this target a little bit better. Let's see if we can get it this time. There we go. Heading for the enemy garrison. Uh, or... This is going to be a tough move here. I'm going to make a low pass on the airfield. If we can get it. Uh, we're not going to get it, are we? See if Stars is over there. He's going to pick up that airfield real quick in a second here. Yeah. So that zone's locked, so it's just going to be wasted time. I'm going to use the speed and momentum we have to go this way and try and pick up this garrison as quickly as possible because we are going to be competing against a multi-roll and a bomber. In fact, I'm not even sure we're going to be able to make it over here in time. So let's burn up the booster and get the heck over here as quick as we can. We're getting close to 390, 383 right here. All right, brakes on, guns on target. Ooh. There we go. Not a whole lot of targets left over here. And it looks like the enemy's picking up our command center. Alright, what do we got here? Tornado. Do a little tag and drag here. Let's see what we can do. We got his engine. Watching the mini map, making sure we don't hit a mountain. It's a common fail in this aircraft or any of the ground attackers when you get into the tail gunner. Let's turn back around. Oh, they picked it up. What you gonna do? Got the kill there. Head for the other ground attacker. Go for the intercept here. We don't want him getting to our command center any earlier than... He has to. And he's in the zone. Perfect. Okay. Come on, P-47. Come get me. I'm an easy target. Stay in the zone. Come get me. Looks like he might be coming this way. Guns up. Come on. Ah, nice. Nice. But I'm probably going to have to just head back over here and recapture my own command center. So let's do that. Nose down, boost up. Not sure who was the decider over here at this command center, but we're going to call back some assistance. 
And I'm going to see what I can do to try and pick this up with some tag and drag of my own. We are a little bit lower on health this time around, so there's going to be a lot of AA fire that's going to be a bit of a nuisance. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to do this one more time. Anybody want to come and give me a hand? It would be great. Hit F3. Might be able to coax something to come over here and give me a hand. Just taking out the main guns is going to be really helpful here. gonna do a double drop on the center structure just because I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna be able to survive with the incoming fire. We'll do a bomb bomb and we'll hop into the tail gunner. Oh you are really close buddy. How about you? What do you got? Got his engine. Trying to be as maneuverable as we can here to limit incoming fire. One down. We're out of the zone now, so that's drawn the enemy off of our off a of pursuit here. And I'm going to let myself regen, because right now I am actually more of a danger to my team losing the zone just by existing here. Uh, P-40 is coming towards the boundary. Can we get the 30s on target here? Getting some good hits on target. Got the zone through, killing enemy aircraft. Awesome, awesome chance here. Uh, the enemy will be picking up that command center, or that garrison rather. But there's a heavy force presence there. So I'm actually going to dip the nose, I'm going to dive through the airbase, grab a little bit of wrench, and we're going to make our way over to the enemy command center. I'm going to use the uh, dive to build up my airspeed rather than using the boost. And we're going to let the uh, boost cooler regen a bit more. So this will also keep us at a more reasonable speed as we come into the repair section here. And we're going to get some of that repair moving on this aircraft. There we go. We're at full health. It is squall line, so that's probably a good move on our part. And trying to help our team pick up this command center is going to be huge. So let's get over here and do that. Um... Now we got a multi-roll. There's a defense aircraft with low health, which is going to be perfect for us. We like that type of target. Oh, there's a heavy inbound here. What are you what are you trying to do? Come on. I'm waiting for you to go by. Turns out you can play that game, Michael. Thank you for the zone. And now I've got a light fighter on my six, so let's... Oh, come on. Oh, the plane wasn't responding. I think we sacrificed a lot of our energy on that one. Calling for some assistance on the target. Be as squirrely as you can. He's actually fallen back from us. He's not able to maintain chase. Um, I guess I'm going to dive on him. Let's see what we can do here. Not sure this is going to be a win. Oh, we got his tail. I think he knows he's got the win, though. And... Oh, man, you got the same guns I do. But you lost your engine. Come on. We're in an interesting scissor fight here. There we go. Not quite the type of battle I was expecting to get, but <laughs> we are going up against the best of the best with Sea of Stars over there. Good job to you, man. Look at that. Nearly 17,000 personal points. 
Heading back down towards the airfield here. Bombers aren't going to make it quite in time to be able to save our battle. But it doesn't mean we're going to stop trying, so... Let's see if we can get guns up on a target here. Oh, I see you now. Should have paid a little bit more attention to that mini-map. And there's Sea of Stars. Hi there, friend. Got him. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Good game, friend. Good game. We managed to get, uh... Wing Legend, we picked up four sectors, we got 255 capture points, but technically we got more than that, and I'll show you what I mean when we get back to the hangar. This goes back to the efficiency rating stuff, I feel like it's a little bit flawed, always have felt like it's a little flawed, because we got more capture points than that, I know we got more capture points than that, but when you're flying a ground attacker, they only count capture points when destroying ground targets. They don't count capture points for aerial kills. So we actually took out eight aircraft and we got 615 capture points. So that means that there was like another 225 capture points gained just from killing air targets. So this is a massive difference from what we saw with yesterday's battle. Not only was yesterday's battle a fairly easy win, but this was a hard fought loss. And I think that this is good content as well. So I, I, I'm actually much prouder of this battle than I was yesterday's 265 video. Uh, we showcase taking out attack aircraft, doing some tag and drags, taking out some heavies, air defense aircraft, as well as hitting ground targets. We managed to do 36,000 damage against ground targets. And that was uh, taking out nine sections of ground targets as well, like total ground sections. Two of those were special sites, three medium armored ground targets, as well as a medium, and then actually a bunch of smalls because we did hit some of those light AA sites, the ones that only have like little houses on them that are going to be the unarmored structures opposed to the ones with the pillboxes. So that's what I like to do with this combination of guns and it works out well for us. Now, just as a point of comparison here, like if we were to look at like the other enemy, 265, 18,000 points against ground targets, 9,000, 3,700. Now, these are bots, so it's not a fair comparison, but I was in a battle earlier today where I got 44,000 points of ground damage in my 265, and an enemy B-32 only got 36,000. Um, arguably should have gotten more, but that's a human-controlled specialized B-32. So this plane does have the potential to kick out a decent amount of ground damage and be a very formidable force when people are coming at you with the amount of firepower it can bring to bear. So ME-265, as far as ground attackers go, I think the German ground attackers are a lot more fun to play if you like to do a lot of different things. They're much more versatile. But if you like the kind of procedural type of gameplay of flying like an IL-20 or an IL-2, where it's all about how efficiently can I take out ground targets, those are much better at that. The 265 oftentimes finds itself lacking the air-to-ground ordnance to be able to do a single pass capture. And in a lot of cases, it's going to either have to double back or it's going to have to kill some planes to do that. And that's what we had to do in this battle. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one.